move on to the next one. And this one is about a man, an actor, uh, came out and was actually talking about bride price and his expectations when he has paid his, the bride price of a woman and is married to her. Now, this one is saying that how can I pay bride price? And your wife will now put password <laughs> and tell you not to touch her phone. I pity you. That is actor Don Richard Tackles married men. Anyway, is is this one this time around and he spoke Yoruba. <laughs> so we have a neighbor speaking video and a Yoruba speaking video. So let's quickly watch this video where the man was tackling married man and telling them, why would you have a wife after you've paid her bride price and she's telling you don't go through her phone? Let's quickly watch this video and we'll be right back. Oh my phone is gone again. Oh my phone is gone again. Oh my son is gone again. 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 Show my people go rock rubbish and but to us you see show my body to what you to pass is still on it over my way to that ah and you're cool it yeah when you came out for a phone you go on the password see phone at the fair and we turn on the wedding i'm going to show me wow i'm going to watch it talk to a month 25 years at 30 years so that one i'm going to get there now i'm going to go be oh yeah no she did any test Paulo chama Mario Benito Songo do Chevrolet do Chevrolet do Sueto o outro de virar de cocole o meu de casa bem o outro o outro passou o outro passou o telefone right welcome back anyways uh, that man has had a lot to say more the fact where he had to say how would I pay your bride price and you are telling me I should not go through your phone do you know how much I spent and most of the comments are what is it with men and these bride price nobody forced you tied your hands and say okay come and marry me and pay my bride price so why are you all about the bride price and still talking about password in your phone and like it's one well i feel privacy is not something you should actually have in your marriage when it comes to your phone because you write to this person there's nothing private anymore but i think there's still a bit of respect when it comes to your privacy but you know i'll leave that for <laughs> Pastor, to talk about it. Pastor Dolly, what's your take on this bride price and the expectation men expect from after being after they pay their bride price and you know the marriage? The truth is that um, when you are married to a man, it is expected that both of you become more flesh. Mm -hmm. You are friends, confidants, best friends if you like. And so hiding anything from each other is not is not uh, is not right. It's not good. It shouldn't be that way. Both of you should be able, not just the woman and the man too should be because I don't understand why a man will pass what is awful. Um, and you are fighting your wife for pass what mm -hmm. is awful. Both of you should be naked. And the Bible said they were naked, they were I not ashamed. Uh -huh. uh, be naked in every Everything. sense of it. It shouldn't be just in uh, the woman's side mm -hmm. alone, you know, and for him to be talking about the way he's talking about bride price, he's talking like somebody like somebody who bought property and he, paid for the property. He actually compared it to why are you even paying the bride price? Why not just buy, buy land, house, uh, buy, land buy, buy house, house, house. build house with the money that mm -hmm. you used to organize the party? party. Mm -hmm. You know, the party you organize is for you and your wife. Mm -hmm. You know, some men, sometimes the way they reason is, is funny. A man's wife put to bed. You spend on the wife and on your baby because he put to bed. And you are fighting the woman, making her look like she's not grateful for the good you did to her. I don't get it. She carried your baby for nine months for crying out loud. Who should be grateful, you or her? You know, so a lot of men, the way they think, somebody like this, the way he thinks, it's so it takes upside down. Whether they use their inners to think, I don't know. Because why would you be saying things like, like uh, is because um, because you you pay the bright price. Mm. The bright price is the receipt that you have obtained mm. to make her a slave in your house. Am I saying that she should pass more than phone? No, it's very wrong. If you have nothing to hide, why are you passwording your phone to your husband? 
You too, you should prove to your husband that you have nothing to hide. The man too should prove to the wife that he has nothing to hide. Sometimes we are like talking to women not to be going to their husband's home for their peace of mind. Is it good that the man is doing those things that the woman may find that will break her heart? No, it's very wrong. It's not moral for you to be committed to somebody on the outside and secretly you are committed to other people. No, it shouldn't be. Your allegiance should be to the one that you have committed to. You came out open. You displayed her open. She displayed you openly. You so, celebrated that. Yes, yeah, so both of you should also be you should keep displaying each other until death do you part. Mm -hmm. Okay, Pastor, what you <laughs> <laughs> You know, as the man was talking, I, I just asked myself, who actually collect Brad Price? He's a father. Mm -hmm. Which he would be mm -hmm. if he has a daughter. Mm -hmm. right. So if, if you think that, why should I pay Brad Price? So if you have female children, then don't we'll allow them. You know, most times, even this Brad Price, when it comes to collecting of Brad Price, you know that we women we don't have a say. The mothers don't have a say. It's the men mm -hmm. that collect the bride price. It mm -hmm. is the man, men that the father that will say this and say that. So if this father is is this husband is complaining, in the next twenty something years, this same man will be a father. Mm -hmm. So if you are saying this issue of bride price is rubbish, please, sir. I wish you could hear me. From your own time, stop bride price and. If he stop collecting bride price, before you know, people will follow him. So I wish that all the people that are supporting his saying now mm. will also support him when he said, "Let's stop, bride let's price. stop bride price," because he's comparing the money he's paying for bride price that he can use it to buy land. So you just tell the person that wants to come and marry your daughter, daughter, please don't pay me bride price. Just go and buy land and make my daughter happy. It's as simple as that. You know, it's we are just laughing, but it's sad. You know, when men come out like this and look at us women as if, you know, as if we are an object you just buy. You know, mm. a man comparing the bride price you are paying for your wife mm. to you relevance of buying a plot of land. You are indirectly saying that your wife in your house is equivalent to the any property. other property. That means you know, you don't have value actually. You, not even property. And you could, you, you could save to buy a car. Mm. Men, they change cars in millions mm. and nobody complains. But what they are just asking is just a token. And this mm. bride price thing, you know there are some countries where it is the other way around. Yeah. So it, 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 it mm. is the other way around. So you, men looking at it, he's just like one of those cultures that guide our living. So it's not like you pay my bride but makes me a property for you. If there are other con continents right on this earth where the reverse is the case. So in that case, this is just one of the cultures that we have for ourselves. So it's not like it's a hard thing. And we celebrate everything. You celebrate your birthday, you celebrate your wedding. Mm -hmm. When you are celebrating your birthday, you plan for you, you spend mm -hmm. money. Mm -hmm. You don't think that, you don't say that that money you are spend is a waste. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Now you are comparing the all that you spend so much money in wedding. Mm -hmm. Now coming to issue of phone and every other thing, it's a matter of understanding. I, people think that marriage is, is death sentence. Marriage is just a relationship, just like every other relationship, just like business relationship, where two people are involved. And where two people are involved, they have understanding. If, if you are this, this one that I even saying, there are some homes where nobody cares. If you like passport your word, if nobody cares. They just have mutual respect for each other. Each other. You yeah. understand? So I feel that some people that put password and they feel that I'm just thinking, feeling you no, know, maybe they feel that maybe because you too you password your own. Yeah. So if everybody the man did not password his own, I don't think why the woman should. Mm -hmm. You know there are some people this debate has also come, should you pick your husband's phone? Some people say yes, I should because we are one. You understand but like I said, it's just a matter of understanding. understanding. What works for you, my know of me generally, I can't even pick your own call. No talk of my husband's call. Except I'm your PA and that's my duty. But if it is not, I feel that this is direct line to you. I feel for me, I feel that one, I've wasted the other person's time and airtime. 
because it's not me that he wants to speak speak with, speak with. so except i'm under instruction pick my call mm -hmm. i'll pick it not whether my husband's call or any other even my younger sister even my daughter's call i don't pick it's just my own understanding mm -hmm. you understand so it is a matter of understanding let's even look at it from this way if we now say okay like you said bright price if we now say okay this bright price thing that is always costing issue for men because when they pay bright price They'll feel that that's the end of the world. The rest of the, the rest, whatever comes again is history. Now, what would be the result if actually bride price is being scrapped? What happens? Would marriage even stand? Of course, it will stand. It will mm. stand. Funny, funny enough, the bride price thing. Somebody started it. I like yeah. I always say, whatever is started by somebody, one person can also wake up one day and say, "Let us stop this whole tradition." Mm. And these people, they meet, they love themselves. They go ahead and marry without bringing bride price. And this bride price thing that we're even talking about, how much is the bride price that mm. you pay? For instance, the person that just spoke in Yoruba language yes. is not one of those places where they take high, Millions. high bride price. Yes. So is it the two naira or one naira or 10,000 that you are giving? <laughs> that you are now wanting the woman to be a slave to you forever. Because the way he's saying it with anger, the way he's emphasizing, he paid for it, he paid bright price, he paid for the party, mm -hmm. he paid for, like he's the alpha and omega of the whole thing. No, I don't think... Hey, man, uh, to, to just wrap his own side off, if I read our comments from this one, uh, he also said something about me. He said, ah, if your wife does not allow you to go through her phone and she's passwording her phone, oh God, go and do DNA tests. Please, what has DNA tests got to do with price, price and phone? Okay, <laughs> before phone came, <laughs> were we not mad? We were, married, I, married, married, yes. Married also had issues then. Yeah. Yes. So it's not because of phone, you know, that... Pe women too also had a way of he, he, um, keeping Cheating something. Them. No, apart from that, keeping something to themselves. So we've heard of women that build house and, and their husband never got all. to do. I'm talking about days where there was no phone. So I don't think we should put the blame on phone. Even now that there's their phone, I've seen a video which was trending on TikTok then. A lot of people dragged the woman. Like literally, the man was struggling without knowing that the house. They are staying where he's struggling to pay rent. Belongs the to the wife. And the case that I will always be, I will send you out, I will send you out. By the time he found out, it was the pressure from the wife to the caretaker, That's and she knew it was the husband. Yeah. So you can imagine, hey Lord, you can imagine what is going on in this circle. Uh, we all know that marriage is a thing uh, that you should enjoy. It's not a mental slavery something. You should always respect your partner in all cases. At this point, I will say thank you so much for being on the show.